My name is Paul Michael Wright. I'm a New York-based artist from New Orleans, Louisiana. So for the last year, I worked on my thesis, which is called Morning Light. Uh, Morning Light is a window into the commemoration and uh, the memory of the death of my brother through our childhood memories and nostalgia. In this series, I highlight um, each of these memories in 12 18 by 24 canvas pieces. So during this project, um, it, a lot of the time really was honestly spent on research. Um, so how can you research memories through family photos, family conversations? So for that, the last year I did um, spend uh, time in New Orleans, just unpacking a lot of memories and things that to me have been forgotten um, since the death of my brother. Initially, when I started this project, um, I thought I was creating a story of, about nostalgia, but I think through the, my creative process, I realized that there was more of a reason why I wanted to keep revisiting these stories and these places and these childhood um, photo albums. Um, and it was really me revisiting or mourning the death of my brother. This being one of my most personal series that I've worked on ever, um, I think that me showcasing it on Instagram and social media, um, I, I just want to inspire others to tell their stories um, and through also through representation. I think that using the black body and a lot of illustration um, can open up means of just representation and unlock potentials for others. Um, through online learning, I think it was it was it was hard and uncertain and and uh, untraditional for a lot of us. And I think as an artist, it did it was a challenge to to get up every day and get in the studio and continue to work as if the things were normal. Uh, but like I said, like getting up every day and being reminded that as artists, we have a purpose in this world. Uh, um, working from home is quite comfortable, but sometimes it can be too comfortable. Um, so initially when the pandemic started, um, I, I was aware that I would have to use my, my own personal studio outside the school studio that we had no longer access to. So I converted my living room into a studio. I took my TV out. I took a lot of distractions out. Um, and I knew that I had a purpose to get up every day and walk into this space and work. Um, one thing that got me through the last year, especially working on such a personal thesis, was my family. Um, they were a constant reminder that I had a purpose and that I was working towards something. Uh, with this project, um, the best learning outcome was basically working backwards. I think that I had the tendency to create work based on an image first, but I think this process really taught me about research. Um, really finding the meat of the story and um, uh, really planting the seed deep and making sure that it feels connected. Uh, not only the color palette, um, the references, the imagery, the compositions. Um, I would think that overall this has taught me to trust the whole entire process, that each process is important. Each process of the creative process um, feeds into each other, um, even down to the last bit of it and showing it and, and, and posting it. Um, all of those things are very connected. So I think this has taught me for future projects, how I wanna move forward, how I wanna implement research into my projects 
and also using these words to 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 also inform the images and then as far as my personal project i think that with my story it can help inspire others to tell their stories i envision a future where all artists and creators have the power and resources and opportunities uh to tell their personal narratives